the London Games was it was just I kind of have learned over these years that it, it will it can't ever be like that again. It was so life changing for me um, and the most wonderful experience I've ever 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 had. Excitement really when you start to talk about London. Um, it was my first games, my home games, doing it with a great friend of mine uh, and Luke Patience and. Yeah, to come away with a silver medal at that, that first go was incredible. There's two moments I really do remember. One was the very first race, because in sailing we do 11 races over the week, so um, race one in London. Just remember the release of emotion off the start line. I think I even remember kind of almost whooping and calling out like, we're on boys, here we go, you know. And then halfway through the week we were really in control. You know, we had the yellow bibs on, so we were leading. And I, and I just felt so settled and I, and I remember thinking, it's on here, you know, let's push on to the end. Put a hell of a lot of commitment in and hard work. And yeah, that's kind of like the, the ending point of that little period. So yeah, it's a real, it's a cool time. And yeah, we're just really fortunate that we managed to pull a medal off. Well, me and Stuart actually whispered to each other as, as the national anthem was being played for Australia and we sort of made a promise, never are we going to listen to this anthem again, <laughs> you know. Um, but it was still wonderful. To, to look around standing on the podium at your friends and family and, and see, the, see the, the support that was almost entirely you know, dominated by British flags, that's unique, really unique. And I, I remember a huge sense of pride.